hey all we're gonna do something a little bit different today and uh, you know there have been a few videos I've done in the past few years where I take all the guitars out of the cases you know bring them all downstairs <laughs> line them up and you know shoot the whole thing and talk about them um, that's a big pain in the neck honestly uh, so instead of doing them all at once I figured I could just do one guitar at a time. Easier to manage, right? <laughs> so the, the one I wanted to start with is this one. And we're just going to talk about it a little bit. You know, the other day a guy uh, commented on my channel, uh, wow, this guy has a guitar collection that would, that would make any rock star jealous. Too bad his playing isn't good enough to deserve any of them. <laughs> so, so this video is for that guy um, to drool over. Um, this is a uh, Gibson J200, or Gibson, the label would say Gibson SJ for Super Jumbo, SJ200. It's a 2002, one of the few guitars I've ever owned that uh, I bought new. Because honestly, the uh, buying a guitar new, it, your, your chances of getting a screaming deal are pretty slim. <laughs> but at the time, that's what I wanted. And, and you know, in the early 2000s and through the 90s and then well into the 2000s um, Gibson build quality especially on the acoustics that came out of Bozeman uh, was really good so um, I fell in love with this one at the shop I had a J100 which I think they they still make a 100 extra so it had the Fishman pickup in it uh, so I had that one and liked it. That's really a stripped down basic version of uh, of the 200. Doesn't have the binding. Uh, I think mine had the, the crown inlays. Um, it had a mustache bridge. The, the woods aren't quite uh, up to the scale of a uh, of a 200. You know, not not super flamey or anything. But the the sound of it was fantastic, and I really loved that one. But of course, you know, it's the typical guitarist lust. So if you start with the, uh, the lower model, uh, you know, every time I would pull it out and play it, all I could think about was, was the next model up, right? So at the time, the next model up was a 150, which I think now they might be calling uh, a J200 Studio. I think, that's the, I think that's the same one. So the 150, I traded the, the 100 after, you know, six months or a year I guess uh, traded that in for a 150 which was very similar to this though the maple isn't quite as nice but it was it was a it was a flamey uh, back to it um, it didn't have neck binding uh, I think it, it still had the gold uh, hardware on it so that one was really nice but again um, what I really wanted was a 200 <laughs> so kept that one for six months and it finally went, traded that one in, I think, along with something else. I, you know, I, I got rid of a few things back then. And uh, saw this one and had to have it. So this is spruce top. All 200s would have a, a spruce top. Uh, this one is, uh, most 200s would have maple. I don't know if you can see that. It's actually very flamey, but with this light, I it took, takes the flame right out of it. <laughs> with this artificial light. But um, you can sort of see on the sides. And the, the back of the neck is flamed. I mean, the back of the neck kind of really sold me on this thing. I mean, look at that. That's absurd. It's gorgeous. So uh, 200s have uh, maple. You can find 200s that are rosewood back and sides. And I've thought about going after one of those, too. Um, you get the mustache bridge. The ones from the late 60s have this part actually filled in with mother of pearl so if you see them those empty spaces filled in on the bridge you know that's uh late 60s um the pick guard engraved with the little uh flower burst things there's no bird on a 200 like you get on a dove and a, a hummingbird uh the one, one thing that i actually like about this one is you can see on the back of the headstock i don't know if you can really see it where the uh, where the strip lines up at the top, can you see it's not quite centered? It's just off center. 
So that's how I will always know this is mine <laughs> if someone steals it. <laughs> or if I, after I'm dead and gone, someone will be able to identify this as mine. Um, <laughs> Cause, cause I am not getting rid of this one. This one stays with me till I'm dead. And and I don't say that a lot about a lot of guitars, but this is definitely one. Um, why did I want a 200? I've I've sort of told this story before, but uh, around I don't know mid 70s, uh, when I was you know seven eight years old, I saw on TV the uh, that Elvis movie, Loving You where he does, uh, the scene that really caught my attention was he, he's up on the stage and he does, he, he, you know, it's the typical Elvis movie where he plays a singer. <laughs> and uh, he gets up there and, and uh, has this sort of silk cowboy outfit on and he's got, he does Teddy Bear. And he has his J200 on, which he just does this. He doesn't actually play it. <laughs> just does the tapping out the rhythm of it. So uh, it was really more of a prop, but he was a, he was a fan of the 200 and, and played a lot of them. You know, he, he eventually switched over to Doves later in the 70s and even played a few Martins and stuff. But he really was, uh, during the glory period in the early 70s and uh, back into the 60s, he was a 200 man. And I saw that and I said, wow, that is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. It sort of, sort of has a cowboy look to it with the, the bridge and the, the, the flowers just top of the line done up loaded with stuff to see on it that, that's, why I, that's why I like it I like my guitars ostentatious um, and then uh, you know that was before I was obviously well before I was a guitar player but it, it made a visual impression on me then a few years later I saw the uh, film of the the first Secret Policeman's Ball, where Pete Townsend, he had a, a beautiful sort of tobacco burst, I don't know if you call that tobacco burst, but he had a sunburst one, uh, a 68 I think his is, that he got at Manny's in New York. Um, and I saw him doing uh, Pinball Wizard on his 200, and that was when I was sort of getting to the age where, you know, I could actually think about playing, you know, by that time you have hands and fingers that can... <laughs> that can uh, learn it. And uh, so that, that was when I really set my eyes on, on learning the guitar and working my way up to a J200. Uh, and I just love the thing to death. There's, there's absolutely nothing about this guitar that I would criticize or change. It is perfect. You know, when you go to a guitar shop and you pull one down off the wall, and you play that first G chord. That's sort of the guitar code. You gotta do your G chord. And see what it sounds like. But this thing rings for days. It's still going. At least I can hear. It's still going. Just ended, just right there. So that's pretty, pretty good sustain. But it, it, it really is, it's made for strumming. You can do
so it really does uh, work for, for strumming. You, you can do... picking because the Martin really is the one for that but uh, you get you get the nice brightness from the maple that's what uh, the, the maple brings to it but it, you know it's such a huge jumbo body uh, you get you get enough of the low end because you got the huge bout but since it's maple it still gives you that bright high end even though it's a boomy low uh, bassy kind of body shape. So for me it's the best of both. Best of both worlds. This is number one on the list if anybody ever wanted to know my opinion of, on uh, acoustic guitars. This is the top of the heap. Gibson J200 from from that period uh, out of Bozeman uh, is, is, a, is a damn damn fine guitar. Uh, so this is guitar number one of the series. Um, this is guitar number one of the series, and we'll we'll sort of go through them one at a time and, and talk about them. Um, trying to remember what this was listed for on, at, on prices at the time. They were probably I don't know. They were, they were probably the, the list price was probably three thousand then. But you could you could probably walk away, walk out of the store for for fifteen hundred somewhere around there, maybe. Somebody probably has a better gauge of that than I do, uh, but but it, it is one where uh, you know I would I would sell everything I own to get one if I didn't already have one, <laughs> uh, knowing how much I love it. Um, so Gibson SJ 200 2002, number one on the list. Good luck. <laughs>